Hi all, let's have a look at another very interesting game of Leader Chess against Stockfish. This is in the Chesscon Blitz Battle, five minutes with two second increments, stage three. The opening scenery set is in the King's Pawn opening, Joachim on Piano, and here D3. So even quieter, Pianissimo. So D3 rather than C3. So white is not that aggressive in setting up an aggressive pawn center immediately with d3 we have knight f6 both sides castle now c3 d6 b4 and it's funny enough i seem to remember demis sasabis playing this uh he was uh later to his company was bought by google uh deep mind but i'm sure that he didn't play the run as he played this with uh it's quite a dangerous system in its own right so knight e7 rookie one we have c6, a4, a5, b5, d5, bishop a2. We have knight g6, bishop a3, rook e8. And now c4, h6. And something really happens which is quite dramatic here in its own right. After c5 is played, white is releasing the tension there. But now after b6, we can see that the bishop is a kind of prisoner in its own pawn chain with that pawn on e5 so long as white is careful not to liberate that bishop will this represent a problem but that is only one of two major issues there is a pawn which is slightly disconnected from its fellow pawns here and it's this one could this be a potential liability later okay let's see what happens queen c2 knight f4 Black does seem to have some aggression going on on the king side. G3, check, king g2, queen d7. The bishop drops back, and this encourages Stockfish to close up the center with d4. If Stockfish lunges in with queen g4, it seems here e takes d5 would be good, firing on all cylinders against e5. So, for example, this bishop takes e5, and these checks are not deadly here the knights are supporting each other and white should end up being able to repulse white uh, sorry repulse black's attack with a big advantage uh, if we look at this position again uh, we can also check out knight f4 here king h1 this still is quite nice for white white ends up with a significant advantage there so Black is encouraged to close up the center, which further kind of locks down the possibility of this bishop ever coming out of its own pawn structure. Michael Steen in the classic work Simple Chess said that the pawn structure is like the fundamental constraint of the pieces. And that's evident here. But it's not just that issue. It's the A5 issue which remains. That black really doesn't matter what calculations are done. That is... A permanent feature it seems of the position the a5 pawn which nothing can really be done about in a way it's like another example of permanent damage which is stockfish really able to recover from this uh, let's see rook f1 we have queen g4 is there a vicious attack here as compensation it does seem dangerous um, uh, let's see knight g1 is played and actually i've just realized something there was a very dangerous line before we just move on from the other one there is a very dangerous line here that if white had played d4 by the way this knight f4 check is going to be a killer after knight takes dragging this knight away from that one and the dynamic play of stockfish is totally rewarded here after queen takes and then bishop h3 white is getting mated so that is a big danger in this position if the knights are not protecting each other so just bear that in mind so let's carry on d4 rook f1 queen g4 we have knight g1 knight takes g1 now here if knight f4 check the king can go to h1 and it seems as though this should be quite nice for white white has a basic plan here of snapping that knight off on e6 and playing f4 which undermines black's pawn chain okay it liberates that bishop but there's other fish to fry here so to speak after queen e7 taking the g file opens up and this diagonal opens up so it might actually be 
worth releasing that bishop from its prison in this circumstance uh, just to get other stuff going on this is all a big advantage for white if we look at this again this sequence here with knight d f3 if we look at queen g4 g takes we can see that g file is dangerous d4 is dropping again this is just very big advantage for white so knight g1 we have knight takes g1 so stockfish is kind of resigned to simplifying some of the pressure here and knight h7 is uh, Lila reacts kicking the queen a bit now okay a bit of coordination but now again repulsing the stockfish attacking pieces whilst keeping this bishop a prisoner is the top priority at the moment and here the exchange of bishops is uh, advertised but bishop c1 just saying well to take is a mistake and if you take it my queen's occupying that diagonal so black does actually take and now we have f4 another clever move g4 so this bishop really is hemmed in now by two pawns on that diagonal and this pawn cannot be taken because of rook h2 and then rook g1 will be trapping the queen with zero compensation really for black uh, now in this position it's also not great to have a self pin by the way uh, the queen white queen can run rampant here and for example ends up on the diagonal this diagonal and that pin piece is going to be eliminated pretty soon after a move like g5 exposing an attack on the pin piece so okay so we have queen f7 which cleverly is protected by the knight hitting the queen but that's taken and now attention is put on the a5 pawn now that the fawns have been filled over here the attacking piece is neutralized a5 is becoming like a delicious apple to try and pluck from the tree knight d8 we have bishop d2 targeting that poor a5 pawn will stockfish be able to cope with losing it well rook c1 reinforcing c5 and now it's taken but there's pressure if the knight moves so white has to first prepare moving the knight by reinforcing a4 king g8 king g2 king f7 now we have king f1 g6 knight b3 so the pawn is ready to run to a6 potentially it's blockaded by a rook literally sitting on a6 now h5 as though wanting to close up the position and kind of get a virtual fortress Lila doesn't go in for g5 this does look very fortressy as if the extra pawn is going to be doing nothing and there's no entry points whatsoever it seems apart from maybe the idea of knight c4 to d6 though bear that in mind uh now in the game g takes is played and we have this open road the g file rook g2 now we have king e2 and a pair of rooks come off so this is quite a dangerous road now the king what is it doing let's see how leader maneuvers so the king is doing something now some high level shuffling where is the king going Leela's kind of probing the position here for a bit so what is the actual winning plan in this position so high level shuffling what is the winning plan knight d6 knight d6 check move 84 so this creates some issues for black if it's not taken then b7 and taken so king f8 we can take on b7 and this is going to be just great this kind of scenario is crushing so it has to be taken and what is the progress made here well let's see rook d8 is played if rook a6 then white plays d7 and there's big threats here so if that's played for example the king can infiltrate like this and even if the pawns lost there a lot of black pawns start falling off like ripe apples so we have rook d8 a6 takes rook a1 so an infiltration via the a file or not rook a5 hitting e5 that's protected b7 
and now rook takes a6 rook takes c6 so Leela has woven herself in to the black position here now rook c8 rook e8 so can the stockfish mighty stockfish defend this d7 not really <laughs> this is just winning material after d7 yep white is just a bishop up and yeah this looks like it shouldn't be any problem with the black pawns now falling off i think leela's done the damage but the damage was kind of done in the opening with the hemmed in bishop so i think that mark michael steen comment in simple chess okay leela's been a bit of a troll here that michael steen comments about the pawn structure being the fundamental constraint of the pieces echoes true in this game it seems uh that was too much so let's see what happens here yep <laughs> it's totally winning Leela technique <laughs> giving up the queen <laughs> yeah is shown here nice trolling technique again just needs the queen mate okay if you enjoyed this game please click on the top left box which should appear shortly to become a member at chessworld.net you can play against other youtubers you can also check the analysis of this and other games from the improved menu learn from the masters uh you can also yeah any comments questions donations see the description box of the video like share subscribe with the notification bell all really appreciated thanks very much